Welcome everybody. We are super excited to eventually get our turn with the Feral Orbeez. It's taken a little bit to get around to us. Uh, we figured the best way to pass our time is to re-familiarize ourselves with its predecessor, which is the Zeb Horizon from Geoslam. Now Geoslam was recently acquired by Faro, and that is the reason why the new Orbeez looks oddly familiar to this. There is some exciting new features though. Uh, we are excited to be able to compare the two and see where it does change. Um, just before we get too into it, uh, for, for those of us that are data nerds, 300,000 points per second, 16 channel, the battery life is three and a half hours, 120 gigabytes of storage. They say the accuracy is one to three centimeters. Uh, they don't give a range noise accuracy, but we can figure that out. Um, now this is the Zeb Horizon. This is actually a Z cam, it's an add-on. Uh, you can run this without the Z-Cam, but you won't get colorized point clouds. Uh, the the Z-Cam is 4K resolution, 30 frames per second. Now, before we get out to the field, let's go ahead and go over everything and make sure we have all of our equipment and we know how to set it up. So you have the Zeb Horizon above it, the Z-Cam. Uh, data logger cables has metal prongs at both ends. It's the data log cable port. What you want to do is line the red dot up to the red dot and just push in. It should click together. And then we have the Z-CAM cable. The Ethernet port will go into the data logger. You want to screw the other part into just underneath the top of the Z-CAM. battery pack along with the data logger. You want to plug the data logger cable into the left port. You should click right in and the Ethernet cable for the Z-CAM in the next port. So you want to let it go through its startup procedure and you're going to be looking for some flashing lights. So once you see the lights in ascending order, you can go ahead and go to your phone, <clears throat> go to your Wi-Fi settings, find GE Data Logger, type in the password Z-E-B-E-D-E-E-1-2. -E 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 once connected, you will need to go to your device's internet browser. In the web search bar at the very top, type in 192.168.102. Point two. At this point, you should be seeing the screen that's on the left here. If you want to start a new scan, make sure the device is oriented in a place that is see good geometry, not towards a wall, or and hit new scan. It will prompt you to name the new scan. You can either keep the naming that it has or create your own. Once you're finished, hit stop. It will go through a stopping process and then you are good to shut down. I believe we're ready for the field now. So, we need to take a second real quick and thank David Moss at uh, MGS for letting us play with his Zeb Horizon from Geoslam. Alright, so the data. 
Uh, it is mobile data. And what I mean by that is if you're used to seeing a very structured point cloud, uh, especially if people walk fast, you're going to see lines, which throws people off. Uh, it's a little bit noisier than uh, a laser scanner that's on a tripod. Um, but for the speed of that you, know, you get with a mobile scanner for a lot of uses, it could be very handy. Uh, it came out 2017, 2018, so I'm, I'm thinking the Orbeez is going to be a, a major step up. But all in all, for the price point it was at originally even, and the age of it, it's, it's a good scanner for its use. Uh, now, is it every use? No. Um, there, there are better things on the market, especially now, but uh, it's, a, it's a solid piece of equipment, and I, I would not feel bad today if I had bought it when it was brand new. So, I would also be very specific about my uses for it. I, well, any mobile scanner, really. Um, I'm waiting for one of them to prove me wrong, though. All right. Uh, oh, speaking of that, we get to play with the Orbeez next week. And then I imagine a couple weeks after that, I'll get a longer term view of it. So I imagine seeing something on that coming pretty soon. Um, so until next time.